couple of these photos to show you uh, the area of San Francisco's Chinatown. This one is Grant Avenue, and this is Kearney Street, which is just below Portsmouth Square. And up here is Stockton. Powell Street is where our cable car goes up and down Powell Street. Scooch over so we can let people get through. Sorry. Now, Powell Street, you have Powell Street here, and then Mason. Mason's the very top of the hill. Now, uh, as I said earlier, I do Knob Hill tours. Knob Hill is sometimes nicknamed Snob Hill. Knob Hill has very, very wealthy people, and it starts right about Powell Street, and certainly is on Mason Street. And I will guarantee you, anybody that's living up on Powell Street does not say they live in Chinatown. They live on Knob Hill. So it's... Uh, that, this is pretty generous what they do, but I want you to look up here first, then down here. And when I said San Francisco has 860,000 people, we have about 15,000 to 16,000 people living in Chinatown, which I would kind of exclude those two. So pretty much in this area, we have about 15,000. If you do the math ratio of the density, what's up here, the density of what's in Chinatown here in San Francisco, San Francisco itself is called 7 by 7, we're 7 miles by 7 miles, and with our 860,000 people, uh, that 7 by 7 would be closer to 3 million people with the same density we would have here in Chinatown. So it's pretty compact here. And to give you a little bit more of an idea, uh, the density here. Uh, you girls have your own bedroom? You share a bedroom? You each have your own bedroom, you have your own beds, and your own animals, right? And your room is probably an average size American room, which is probably about 12 by 12, 10 by 12. If everyone looks up here, one of these windows going from here over to that window is the size of this room. These window rooms are all 12 by 10, some of them are 10 by 10. They were built for male workers. There's a bathroom at the end of the hall and a kitchen at the end of the hall. So this was built for workers. Now the Chinese men, when they came here, they would have, these are called single resident occupancy, SROs. And uh, people live in them today. There, as you see, the laundry and everything is out. Families live in them, not just single men. When the men were working and they lived here, they seldom would ever have the room by themselves. In fact, there probably would be three sets of bunk beds going three high. And a man never rented the room by himself. And some of them only rented it for like 10 to 12 hours a day because they would be working the rest of the time and you didn't need the room. So you just keep whatever you owned with you and then you would just rent a bed predominantly. So it was again to save money to send back to families. Chinatown has traditionally been a migratory place. People have come through here. Chinatown still exists today. You come into Chinatown, you live here, and really the goal is, is to work hard, to get enough money, and just like the rest of America, the goal is to have the nice white picket fence and the family and the car and the house and your kids go to school. And so parents will work very hard to obtain that goal. Consequently, what happens is quite a few of the younger people, when they get into that position, they move out of Chinatown and the senior citizens remain. A new flux, depending upon immigration at the time, a new flux of immigrants can come in. They'll do the same kind of process. The older people will usually stay behind. Much easier, as many of you know, to live in the city, if, especially uh, if you live in Chinatown and you have a Chinese background because your buses are here, your transport food is here. It's easy to get around. You don't have to have a car and drive every place. But the families will move out. And before we leave here, remind me, I want to show you what uh, their own little white picket fence here in Chinatown is kind of an example of uh, getting that little American dream. This is a young family. It's not in one of these SROs. This is a fairly modern SRO. You can see the family here. This is what your bedroom would look like. Your whole family would move in. You have your beds, you have your kitchen, your rice makers, the whole family here would be in your room. Everybody would move in. This is a young couple. 